In almost the same fashion as the Strategic Air Command patrols the Earth, the U.S. Forest Service patrols Mount St. Helens. Using spotter planes, the Forest Service keeps a constant vigil around the mountain. Channel 2's Paul Majors has more. Even though today is the 4th of July, it's no holiday for the Forest Service pilots and observers monitoring the volcano. When the mountain is active, they fly around the clock. During this current quiet phase, airtime has been cut back to 18 hours. And even though the mountain looks more like a giant clump of cotton today, the volcano is still potentially dangerous. Flying close to the mountain can strain the nerves. Pilot, observer, and plane are rotated every three hours. The Forest Service uses the planes to control air traffic around the mountain and coordinate communications with ground teams. But the main job is to provide an early warning of the mountain's activities by constantly observing the volcano. Uh, what we've seen this morning is uh, the mountain pretty well obscured by clouds. Occasionally we've had uh, the, uh, contact with uh, Spirit Lake and once with the northwest flank of the mountain where we seem to have seen a little bit of new snow on that uh, part of the mountain. And that's been confirmed with uh, a helicopter that we've been working with on the ground who reports a little additional uh, uh, sulfur dioxide. Here at the Portland Airport, this office is used by the Forest Service as a pre- and post-flight checkpoint for pilots and observers. When the crews land, they report to the Forest Service office at the airport to take care of paperwork and log what went on during the time in the air. The office is staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It serves as a coordination center, making sure planes, equipment, and crews are ready to go into the air. In the last two months, pilot Mark Mays has been around the mountain as much as anyone. Glad for the, uh, to have the opportunity to be around the mountain. It's an exciting event. It's once in a lifetime event, so I'm really uh, glad to be able to, to get up there. Uh, the flying, uh, in terms of flying as a pilot, can become monotonous. But when I remember what's, what it's about, uh, that takes that problem away. And so as one crew takes a rest, Another crew is already back up in the air, working in the sunshine, keeping an eye on the volcano, doing a job that could spell the difference between safety and disaster for thousands. This is Paul Majors reporting for Channel 2 News.